Are there some mad people we can talk to? Um, well, I, of course I wouldn't describe them as mad. I, w I would um, describe them as enthusiastic fairy lovers or fairy fans. People. Okay, interesting characters. Yes, there are lots and lots of interesting characters. And basically for me, fairies mean different things to different people, but for me, this whole thing is, is just weird to some people, but for me it's just about your, your human, you're, having, you're a spiritual person having a human experience. You've existed for years before and you'll exist for years in the future, and now you're in a body and what are you going to do with it? So you're going to have a relationship with things that, that make sense to you, to the trees and, and, and everything around you. So. Being a fairy is about your connection with just things that happen to you, things that you that come into your head and things that come into your, your spirit. And it's just about expressing those. And this is just, to me, this is as silly as it is to you. It's just a bit of fun, but it's just an expressive and sort of true sense of fun. And this is just, it's about being you. And sometimes I just like to be naughty and play and want to be in a garden full of roses and I just want to play and this is what it's about. How many years have you been coming? This is my first year. Oh is it? Yeah, I've usually been working so yeah it's been really good to come here. It's been wonderful because we've got the, we're doing the wishing tree. Have you been to see the wishing no, tree? No we haven't. Do you want to come see the wishing tree? Yeah definitely. Do you want to follow me? Yeah sure. Come on then. It's not that far. Grow. Okay so this is the wishing tree in here and that's the wishing well. The water in that wishing well is from the lake down, you know, just down there that I pointed out. And um, in it is a few drops from all of the holy wells in Cornwall. So that's like made that sacred water for making wishes in. So people can either throw a pebble in, you know, make a wish throw a pebble in, or, and or, I think they ought to do both. Over here behind you yeah. is, um, it's, it's like a basket full of like different cut out leaves. So you choose one which is the size, you know, the shape you want. You write your wish on it and then thread it and then tie it on our wishing tree. And then at the end of the festival, I'm going to take all the, them all down, take the wool off of them, because obviously when you burn that, it's, not, it's a bit noxious. So I'm going to take, take them off and then I'm going to burn the leaves to transmute the wishes. Ah. So they won't just be thrown in the bin, they'll be properly treated, yeah. So does that mean the wishes won't come true until after the festival? Um, no, they'll manifest at any time. It's just, you know, they're precious pieces of paper and they can't just be thrown away. You know? So do you want to make a wish then? Do you want to... Uh, do what do you think? I think, uh, I think I should make a wish. I think you should. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to... What do I need to wish um, for? Well, whatever you want. It could always be something for the earth, perhaps. You know, maybe it's about, about the ocean. Hopefully they'll clean up the ocean as quick as possible yeah. before it does any more damage. Yeah, I could do that. I wish for a pint of Strongbow. Uh, well, you haven't done it yet, oh, have you? Is that why? <laughs> right, okay. Okay, I've done it. Okay. Now what do I need to, to do now? Thread it with that. Oh, right, okay. So you put your board down. <laughs> okay. Orange. <laughs> Orange is the best colour. <laughs> so, yeah. And then just being being careful not to bang your head or anything. Just go in there, choose a little little space on the branch, and tie your wish on with some good knots. <laughs> Lovely. Well done. <laughs> done. So. What are you going to do with these then? Um, they're just going to stay up now until the end of the festival. Then after the sunrise on Monday morning, um, they'll all get taken down. And like I said, I'll keep them all safe and take them home and, and burn them in my garden on top of my Cornish hill. <laughs> <laughs> What 
What do you think of this festival here in Cornwall? The weather obviously today, you've struck gold with the weather, but what do you think of the festival itself? We really think it's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, originally when Karen Karen came to us and, and talked with, about um, producing fairy worlds over here because she saw what we were doing with the festival. And so we were going to co-produce the festival, but there was a lot going on at that time on both sides. And so she ended up creating Three Wishes as kind of a, the love child of fairy worlds and woodland and her, what she was doing already with, uh, with her events out in Glastonbury and, and Cornwall. And so uh, to see this keep growing each year, and now this is the first time we've come over for it, I think it's a beautiful event. It's really... Uh, it seems very reverent and the people are happy and I've seen a lot of joy here. It's just really children, beautiful. The children are happy. That tells you everything you need to know about an event. If the children are smiling, what else matters really, right? You know. Um, we've just spotted um, two amazing characters here who are just about to watch Woodland who are going to go on in a moment. Uh, we're calling them Wizard Man down there and Goat Man here. It's the bloke with the tail. Let's see if we can go and talk to them. Try and get down here. See if I can um, squeeze in by this guy here. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Can we have a chat with you? Is that all right? All right, then. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, um, we've been calling you Goatman because we don't, <laughs> we don't know what else to call you. What are you? <laughs> a fawn. A fawn. Hi. Okay. Can you descri describe your costume to us? Um, goat leggings. Yeah. Feet. You got the hooves here. Yeah. Horns. Horns. Oh, and ears. Oh, oh yeah, obviously. Okay. And ears. And you've forgotten something. Go on. A tail. Yeah, right. All right. Okay. Um, so, uh, why have you come dressed like this? That's a hell of a good question. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> why are you sitting here watch, listening to music dressed as a fawn? Fresh out of pink fairy wings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Can I just have a touch of your leg? Do you mind? You don't grope too much. No. Oh okay. God. Oh, it's quite, it's quite soft, isn't it? That's the best offer a vet on me. <laughs> So you, are you having a good time? I'm having a ball. Where are you from? You don't sound... Um, originally New York. I lived 23 years in uh, Yorkshire, and now I'm living in Colorado. And you, uh, why, why are you over here? Work. Oh, okay. Just happened to line up with this festival. So would you, if you were at home in Colorado, would you go to something like this? I do. There's one in Eugene, Oregon that uh, this band sets up, and uh, it's, it's a good time. Just before the band come on, can I have a quick word with you, sir? Hi, how are you? Hi, good, thank you. What's your name? Neil. Neil. Um, oh, excuse me. No full of. That's all right. <laughs> Neil. T tell, tell, tell everybody what you are. Uh, I'm a wizard. Right. Merlin, and I've just come down from Stoke on Trent in Staffordshire to uh, spend the day down here. Okay, and uh, you've done this purely for this festival? Oh, yes. We came last year and we liked what we saw and. Uh, my wife and uh, family come down with us and they're all dressed up as well. They don't mind you dressing up in this outfit? Not at all, we all enjoy it. I worked on two films way back, uh, Dark Crystal and Labyrinth with star David Bowie and actually our son Toby. I also um, was one of the team who created Yoda for Star Wars. He's a great little guy, though. Yes, he he's wonderful. We had no idea when we started working on him how iconic he would become, really. But uh... what we had noticed that um, they were independently um, musicians um, using my images uh, to project behind their, their music, and um, we had sort of hooked up with some of them. And it sort of started in America um, with just people, like in village halls almost. 